Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be turning Greek myths into art, and today I'm working on the myth of Hades and Persephone. This project is also my entry for the Boilai Hobby Time Craft Challenge, and this month's theme was ancient history, so I thought it fit pretty well. And I love mythology so much, so it was hard to decide which one to make, but I chose this myth in particular because I had a really cool idea for the layout of the light box. So I got started on drawing out the design and figuring out where everything goes. I thought it would be really cool to make the scene where Hades kidnaps Persephone from the meadow, and I really liked the idea of having the two sections, the meadow on top and the cave underground, separated in the middle and having two different colors in each of the sections, and I just thought it would be a really cool layout. So here is my final sketch with all the details planned out, so let's get into the cutting. And these layers are pretty simple, they consist of cutting out grass, trees, and in the bottom section adding skulls around the cave. I added all these skulls because Hades is the god of the underworld and dead people, so I thought adding skulls in his area would really bring out that creepy factor and just, you know, make more sense. And to create more contrast between the underworld and the meadow, I'm going to add line work to the bottom half and then cut the details into the top half and it would be kind of like a light versus dark thing and it would be really cool. I've done the line work on a previous light box and it turned out really cool so I was confident that this would work and I was really really excited about this idea in this light box but honestly this part of it kind of drags out a bit and it took quite a bit of time to finish. There were a lot of layers of just trees and grass and the flowers in the meadow were really a pain because they're so small and you have to be really careful not to like cut them or break them or anything so this part was kind of a pain to do all of these layers. And the skulls were kind of a pain too because they're not the easiest to draw and then I had to cut them all out and draw the line work and everything but it was worth it in the end. So while I'm working on all these layers, let me just tell you the myth of Hades and Persephone. Once upon a time in ancient Greece, the goddess Demeter had a daughter. Her name was Persephone and she was known for her beauty and grace. She and her mother were very close and loved each other very much. Demeter was the goddess of grain, so all plants flourished and the humans could grow lots of grains and food. The two were very happy together, and Persephone spent her days playing with her nymph friends. However, Hades, the god of the underworld and brother of Zeus, saw her one day and fell in love and decided he wanted to marry her. In some versions of the story, Hades goes to Zeus and tells him, and they plan to kidnap her together while Zeus distracts Demeter. In other versions, he just goes and kidnaps her in front of Demeter and all of her friends. But he goes up to the surface in his chariot and spots her in a meadow. He makes the earth open up and he snatches her up and takes her underground. She lets out a single scream before she disappears under the earth. Demeter heard her scream and knew something terrible must have happened to her, so she began searching the earth looking for her. She neglected all her duties to make the grain grow. After a couple days, she was worn and hungry, but she still had no clue where her daughter was. She ran into Hecate, who told her to ask Helios, the sun god, if he had seen anything. She went to him, and indeed he had seen the whole kidnapping take place. Demeter became furious and went back to Olympus. She went to Zeus and demanded her daughter back. Zeus had been involved in the abduction, and he lied to her about it. She demanded that Persephone be returned, or she would make all the crops wither and die for eternity. Zeus knew that if she did that, that humanity would soon starve and he would stop receiving sacrifices and offerings from the mortals. He ordered Hades to return Persephone immediately. Hades had no choice, so he reluctantly started the journey back to the surface with Persephone to return her. However, on the way he offered her a pomegranate, and she ate some after starving underground for days. She was happy to eat something. She ate six pomegranate seeds and she was returned to Demeter. They reunited happily, but it was short-lived. Since Persephone had eaten food from the underworld, she was forever bound there. A compromise was created where Persephone stayed above ground with Demeter for most of the year and she would stay in the underworld for a third of the year. 
When Persephone was home, Demeter was happy, and the vegetation flourished. But when she was gone, Demeter got sad, and all the plants would die. Some stories say that Persephone ended up loving Hades in the end, and others say she never did. But this myth ends up explaining the creation of the Four Seasons. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this myth. It's one of my favorites, and it's a really interesting story. But now, let's get back to the light box. I finished up all the layers, so now I can get started on creating Hades and Persephone. And also creating the chariot and horses pulling Hades and a deer in the forest. I started with Persephone and I copied her over from my sketch earlier because I really liked how she looked. Then I planned out all the line work. Same as the background, I wanted all the details on her to be cut into the paper, so I used my X-Acto knife and I cut along all the line work that I had. In all honesty, it didn't turn out that great, but it's hard to make the small details like the face look good when the whole thing is like an inch tall. So I struggled with it a little bit, but I cut it out and I made a few extra little details. I made a tiny little flower crown for her head, and of course the flower that she is holding and smelling. And now I get started on Hades. I copied him over as well because I liked his sketch, and he will have line work with the sharpie. He was a bit easier to make than Persephone, except that I made him facing the wrong way, so I had to fix that and flip him over. Then I made him a pure black crown for his head, and I started working on the chariot. I was excited about this part because it's so fun to make all these individual little pieces, color them all separately, and then attach them together. I enjoyed the process a lot, and I added skulls as details wherever I could, like on the wheel and his little staff, and I did all the line work. And I was really happy with how it was looking, so I glued everything that I had together so far. And now for the trickiest part, I had to make two horses pulling the chariot. I have tried to create horses before, and they went okay, but these horses were going to be a focal point in the whole light box, so I really took my time to try to make them nice, and I think they turned out pretty good. In the original myth, Hades' chariot is pulled by four horses, and I was going to do that as well, but I realized that there just wasn't going to be enough room in the cave in the bottom half of the light box for all four horses, or it would just look really, really cramped up. So two looked better, and I just stuck with that. And after finishing up the horses, I attached the reins to Hades' hands, and I started on the little deer in the forest. He was pretty rushed, and he ended up looking a little bit derpy, <laughs> but he's gonna be hidden in the trees, so I thought it was fine. I poked holes in his eyes with my little pin, and I cut a few details in his fur, and now I have everything I needed done for the light box. I just have to assemble all the little pieces together. I glued all the characters in their spots, and then last minute, I decided I wanted to add a few little spirits of the dead in the cave below, so I cut a few little ghost shapes out of sketching paper, and I did the line work on them, and I glued them in random spots around the skulls and the cave. And now I can start assembling the layers. I used the leftover foam board from my Winter Wonderland light box, and I cut a half inch strips out of them and try to assemble all the layers together nicely with that. There were 10 layers of this light box, so it was quite a big one. But now that it's assembled, I try to figure out the lighting. I played around with a lot of different colors, but I landed on purple, pink, and yellow. And I did this by gluing like red paper behind Hades and using a purple light in the top. And then I also got an extra little yellow light that I stuffed in the bottom section as well. But here is how it looks and I'm super happy with it. I love all the colors, the different colors are so pretty and the layout was very fun and I like the separation and it was just overall a really fun project. Let me know what you thought down below and I will see you next time. Bye!